Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. There are tutorials in the Hunter Classic that teach new players the ropes of the game. Now there are new ones available that replace tutorials that were introduced more than 7 years ago. To start a tutorial, simply click on Hunt Now and then instead of single player or multiplayer game, click on Tutorials. So let's go through the new tutorials and should there be too many messages to read or messages disappear too fast, simply pause the video and read them at your own speed. Here we go, we're loading into the tutorial. Now this tutorial is actually really cool because you get to play a little bit with equipment that you might not actually own. Here it talks a little bit about uh, tents and tree stands uh, and that we are in a special area here where the animals will behave a little bit different. In fact, we are here at Whiteheart Island. The lake is just over here and the tutorial wants us to place a tent which comes up as we press zero. What it's telling us here is that the tent will, ha will hold a few items that we can use in this tutorial. Really cool because those might be items that you do not own. What I would do is I would actually place the tent as close as possible to the tree where you hang your tree stand. So I will choose this tree. There is a minimal distance of 10 meters. You don't need to place it at the marker which is over there somewhere. You just place it here. And now it's asking us to enter the inventory and equip the tree stand. And what you see here is that you have a crossbow, the Parker Python bow, and a recurve bow, which is really cool. Again, if you don't own these items, you get to play with these, you get to hunt with these. What you can also do, by the way, is before you enter the tree stand, I would really recommend enter the tent here quickly. And you will see there's a number of weapons. The pulsar bow is also there, the long bow the snake bite, but also the uh, crossbow pistol, which is really a fancy gun. I like it a lot, especially for turkeys. It's very quiet. And then also equip all the uh, colors that you would need here at Whiteheart Island. There is white tail deer and black tail deer. There is elk, there is coyotes and also bobcats, which would uh, sometimes come to the collar. And then there's turkeys but also put in the uh, binoculars. What I would also do here is I would use this uh, motion predator decoy. And in fact, if you look under collars, you also have a turkey decoy. So we will deploy all this. It's explaining to you how you mount a tree stand, you equip it, and then you would push the E key to enter it. But before we do that, like said, I want to place those items. So I put them for now in the uh, slots here so I can uh, put them out. The turkey decoy, three of them have the max, the maximum attraction. And also, where did I put this one? The motion predator decoy. It's really cool, isn't it? So the motion predator decoy is good if you have, for example, an electronic collar uh, that spooks animals when they come really close. And you can turn off the e-collar and then the animal will stay there right next to the, uh, to the motion predator decoy. So let's enter the tree stand. So it's uh, explaining here that you can play around with the different weapons that you have in this tutorial. What it's also saying is, if we load the uh, crossbow here quickly, it's already loaded. As you can see, if I'm standing in the tree stand, I can point right down. The same is true for the bow. You can see I can turn around even, shoot through the tree. I can aim right down with these weapons when I'm standing. Once I crouch, you 
it's no longer possible. I can no longer go all the way straight down. Same for the crossbow and for any other weapon for that fact. So that's the angle I can shoot. And now the tutorial is saying just call in those animals and see how the tree stand works. For me personally the tree stand is the absolute best stand by far. I'll take a tree stand over a ground blind or tripod stand or a any other like a tower or anything else that's available the tree stand is really an absolute favorite of mine and you can see we hear the animals that was a bobcat that we just heard we heard an elk there is a coyote coming and you can see usually coyotes trot in when you call them once they see the decoy they just walk and they will walk over to it and stand there for a while. Now I have equipped the Parker Python which is not super quiet. I will of course try and make an instant kill. Very good and now you will be glad to have equipped the binoculars because you see the other animals coming in. So there's the lake over there. This is really just west of the lake on the northern part of Whiteheart Island. Let's use the crossbow here. It might spook the other animals and oh before I spook them. There you go look at this. Bobcat is coming to the call as well. The turkey should usually be a bit scared. In this case he's focused on the call. And by the way, your personal skills don't matter at all. You can see here, I don't have any information on the weight or score estimation here for any of the animals. You are an absolute noob when you play these tutorials. You will also see this when you aim. All your fancy shooting skills mean nothing. You will, um, you will, squ you will sway quite a bit. And now we had a deer running. So the animals will run when they get spooked. This It might take a while for them to come in again. Let me just call and uh, we'll do a, maybe a couple more kills. And also what the tutorial is saying, try other tree stand places. For example, it's suggesting this tree over here but I can tell you, if you mount it on a tree with so many branches, you can barely see down. I really recommend trees like this, with no branches, where you have full view, like this tree actually that I'm in. So you have an almost 360. Should you ever need to look around the tree, just bend forward, press X, and then you can look behind the tree. That's a little trick. So let's wait until more animals come in. In the meantime, the turkey has returned. And you remember I called him from the tree stand. Every animal will uh, run right underneath it. But not the turkey, it'll stick around that decoy. And now let's use that fancy little crossbow pistol. It'll always die when you hit it, either immediate or after a few seconds. So this is uh, how the tree stand works. And once you pick up an animal, the tutorial is going to tell you that you can play around with the other stuff. There you go. So this is really What's to the tree stands? Let's pick up these animals here. And then let's quickly have a look at the 
deployable target. Again, really cool that you can use them, even if you don't own, own them. Uh, where does it go? Goes in here like any, like a caller. So let's put the mat over here. The shooting mat is required for these targets so you don't waste any ammo. And also it'll show you how many points you shot. I'll put it here. There you go, that's our target. In the meantime, I have um, equipped the recurve bow. And as you enter the, the mat, it's going to tell you, if you look in the lower right, hold E to display the options, enter or dismantle. Once I enter it, I can no longer run around. I'm locked in, but also I'm not wasting any ammo. And I'm seeing how many points I will shoot. That was an 8, not too bad. I haven't shot this in a while. Also cool, actually, you, you uh, have the tracer arrows for uh, the crossbow, for the normal bows, and the recurve bow. This one was a 9. I don't know the distance, so I wouldn't know how to aim, really. An 8. So you can practice your bow shooting with these targets. Alright, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.